Hello again, Pokemon fans. Today, I am finishing out the 151 series, Poke the Scarlet and Violet 151 um, product that I have. So let's see what we can find. Um, I have a decent amount of this collection already, but there is, there's definitely more that I need to complete the uh, master set. So I did find one of these I mean, not that they were hard to find, but I wasn't <laughs> planning on buying any of these little tins, um, but I think I could get it for a discount or something at GameStop. So I grabbed one of these. This one is featuring uh, Magneton and Ekans. So pretty cool. They do come with two 151 booster packs, uh, a coin, and then an art card. So we'll open that probably first just to get this done and out of the way. And then I have two Elite Trainer boxes. So because Scarlet and Violet did not have a booster box, the only way you could get this, uh, or Scarlet Violet 151, sorry, didn't have a booster box. Um, the only way you could get this product was through like promotional things like these little mini tins, the Elite Trainer boxes, or booster bundles. Booster bundles would have been a better um, deal, but um, they're a little hard to find. So the Elite Trainer boxes I've had for quite a while, so let's get into all of these and see what we find. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna open up the little tin first. I do love these little tins. I just have a bunch of them, so I don't know what to do with them. Um, this one is featuring a coin with the metal energy on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we have our little art card featuring Magneton. We don't even mention Ekans. That's sad. Um, but apparently you can collect all 10 and it will form this nice little picture here. I don't need to do that personally. I think it's really cool, but I don't, I don't need it. So. Perhaps somebody else may want these. Um, here are our two packs. Get out of there. There we go. All right, let's set these things aside. We'll get the Elite Trainer boxes open as well, um, just to get all the packs out here, and then we'll start our opening. All right, we got the Elite Trainer boxes open. Um, so we do have, these were not the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes, they're just the normal ones, so they each have nine packs. So right here is half of a booster box, and then out of our 10, we got two packs, so a little bit more than half a booster box, we have 20 packs total. So let's start with our little mini tin and see what we find from that. All right, so first pack, we started off strong with a holographic fighting energy. And this one, all right, awesome. Because I have been getting, I know that there are two holographic patterns for these energies. One is this kind where it's a lot of like perfect circles. I can't remember what they call it, if they call it the cosmic or whatever. And then there's the other kind that have like little like star like diamondy things in throughout. I think that might be called like galaxy. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I have not gotten any of this pattern so far. And I've looked. I think all that I have are the um, the ones that have the little like stars and like extra swirls in there. So pretty excited about this. Um, and then of course we got a ditto. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure I really need to go. Oh no. That's the only thing with these, these tins. I feel like they do end up damaging the corners of these cards, um, pretty easily. So, oh my gosh. 
it's it's stamped. <laughs> it has a little a little triangle stamp on the corner. Aw, poor ditto. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have this ditto, like the normal hollow version. And I swear I opened up Pokemon 151 and had the reverse hollow extra version. And I can't find it. So we'll see. We'll see when I check my, my ditto collection if if he can be added. Um so we'll set we'll set him in the the win pile. We'll rearrange this. So these are these are pulls, these are wins, whatever, finds, hits, however you want to say it. Reverse hollows and then regular. Or duplicate. All right, well, that was pretty cool. We got Poliwhirl as the illustration rare right after Reverse Hollow Poliwhirl, so not too bad. I'm pretty sure I needed this one, so I'll double check my player's guide at the end of the video and set aside the things that are actually like helping to achieve, but uh, very cool artwork. Love the reflection in here. It's just a really neat card. So, all right, so that was from the mini tin. Not too bad, in my opinion. You know, we got a holographic energy, we got a special, or we got an illustration rare. So not too bad from the little mini tin. Um, we'll move on to the first elite trainer box here. All right, so we got Wigglytuff EX, the ultra rare, pretty positive I needed that one. I can't, I don't know, I'm not super thrilled with the color scheme of this card, but I mean, it is very pretty. It's a very pretty card. I just don't know that I would have put this like, like corally peach color with Wigglytuff, like Wigglytuff kind of gets lost in that personally just personal opinion and then we got the um other hollow version of the psychic energy so you can see the difference here with the psychic energy there's just like a lot more little dots the swirls are a little bit different if you look closely like up here you can see the um there it is that like star pattern and then this one is just circles. No star pattern in there. A little bit of a swirl at the bottom, but nothing real crazy. So. All right, so 
finally we got something else. I didn't really stop and talk about the um, electric energy again because this is the um, not that perfect circle one. So I'm pretty sure that I already have that one. Um, this one again is not the the circle pattern, but we'll set it aside. We got the Charizard EX, the ultra rare. I definitely know that I needed this one. I have none of the Charizards from this collection. So definitely needed that. It has a little bit of a, a ding up at the top, but still a very awesome card in general. So, all right, set that aside. We're ending our first booster box with the Kangaskhan EX. So not too bad. We you know we got the um, we got a couple of holographic energies and two ultra rare cards. So two ultra rare um, like full art style cards and then a double rare Kangaskhan EX that's part of the standard set so not complaining at all there that is looking pretty good set those aside try and get these more organized and then we'll open our last elite trainer box All right, first pull from our second box, we got a new EX, which believe it or not, I'm pretty sure I needed this one. I think I got the ultra rare Mew, I have the gold Mew, but I don't think I had this one, so we'll set him aside. All right, we got the Venusaur EX Special Illustration Rare. I definitely know I needed this one. I have Blastoise of this one. Um, so just the Charizard is the only one that's left, of course. <laughs> um, but this is just some beautiful, beautiful artwork. I love how in the 151 set, I feel like they really in most cases, like focused on creating really beautiful artwork for these Pokemon, especially since it's nostalgic for a lot of the Pokemon community out there to recollect all of the original 151. So um, very, very cool. Love the artwork. Set him aside.
All right, well, <laughs> even if I can't find the other ditto, I got a another reverse hello ditto. So fantastic. Last pack of our second Elite Trainer box and of my Pokemon 151 product to open. So let's see what we can find. Can we finish out strong? And we can finish out strong. So we got Blastoise EX, uh, the Ultra Rare, and we got a Holographic Grass Energy. Again, not the hollow pattern that I was looking for, but still a nice strong finish to this Elite Trainer box. So let's just review from this Elite Trainer box what we managed to find. Get these things in order here. So. Ditto, personal collection. I understand that no one else cares about that, but um, we got Mew EX, Kangaskhan EX from the standard set, two holographic energies, an ultra rare, and a special illustration rare out of this one elite trainer box. So not bad for these two elite trainer boxes. I'm gonna just double check with my player's guide to see which cards I needed and then um, we'll review out of everything that was pulled here what's going to help finish my set. All right, after going through my whole binder, the player's guide, and everything, this is what we found to help further my personal set, um, master set of Scarlet and Violet 151. So the ditto is separate. The ditto is to further my ditto only collection. But we have Mew, Poliwhirl, Special, or er, Illustration Rare, Charizard EX Ultra Rare, Blastoise EX Ultra Rare, Wigglytuff EX Ultra Rare, and then Venusaur EX Special Illustration Rare, as well as the um, Fighting Energy that has the circle pattern holographic, so that was added to my collection as well. These are just a few of the reverse hollows that I needed as well as get through them there's a whole lot of reverse hollows that i needed as well as a few regular cards i have their reverse hollow versions already um kabutops i didn't have anything of so this is the first kabutops that i'm pulling same with dratini for some reason i i feel like i pulled dratini before but i guess i didn't so yeah overall a really great opening i'm very excited to finish this set. So now it'll just be a matter of checking out my local card shops or the uh, Pokemon Buy, Sell, Trade Facebook page to try and complete that set. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.